Our uh, plane was shot down over the Syria over the Syrian territory. The air-to-air -air missile came from F-16 Turkish uh, warplane. It fell on the territory of Syria, four kilometers away from the Turkish border. It was at an altitude of 6,000 uh, meters, so one kilometer away from the Turkish border when it was hit. In any case, our pilots and our plane never threatened the Republic of Turkey in any way. This was an obvious fact. They conducted an operation to fight ISIS. It was in northern Latakia, that's a mountainous part. And that's uh, where militants from uh, Russia are located. And in that case, Russian pilots uh, took pre preventive uh, strikes against terrorists that could have come back to Russia at any moment. And these were the people who are considered, should be considered uh, as international terrorists. We have long identified that there are a lot of uh, oil and petro products going to Turkey from the captured territories. Oil and oil products being transferred which were seized from the territory of Syria. And certainly these uh, military uh, groups get their financing from. And now they stab us in the back, they hit our planes that for fighting terrorism. And together with the U.S. partners, we signed an agreement on uh, to prevent uh, incidents in the air. And Turkey also announced that they are allegedly are fighting terrorism as part of the U.S.-led coalition. With the United States, and as we know, Turkey was among the ones who announced uh, that it joined uh, the U.S.-led coalition in their fight against terrorism. If ISIS have these uh, amounts of money, and it could be even billions of dollars, due to the sale uh, sales of oil. And plus, they have protection from the armed forces of a big state. Then now it's clear why they are so impertinent, why they, why they kill people in the most barbarous, heinous ways. Why they conduct terrorist acts uh, across so many countries, including in the heart of Europe. Certainly, we will analyze what happened very seriously. And today's tragic event will have uh, serious consequences for Russian Turkish relations. We have always uh, treated Turkey not just a close neighbor, but to a friendly state. I don't know in whose interests today's incident is, but it's not in our interest. And instead of immediately 
establishing the necessary contact with us. As far as I'm aware of, the Turkish side contacted its NATO allies. As far as we know, the Turkish side immediately turned to, to their partners from NATO to discuss uh, this incident as if we downed a Turkish jet. Do they want NATO to serve the interests of ISIS? I do understand that every state have their own regional interests. And we have always respected those interests, but we will never allow to have crimes like this to happen, like the one that happened today. And certainly we hope the international community will unite against a common evil. To get united in the fight against evil. In this regard, we rely on the participation of all the countries in the region as fight. And we are very happy to see you today. We will continue our work uh, with your specialists, with security services and the defense ministry, as well as with agencies from uh, the neighboring states. Thank you. President Putin speaking there uh, in response to the event.